how to make Pose Clone, one of the most popular Telegram games at the moment. My name is Nikander, I am a professional blockchain developer, let's get started. Before we begin, I want you to check out my ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game, it's a full stack next JS14 app featuring a beautiful frontend and a robust backend. The app runs smoothly with seamless synchronization between the frontend and backend. You can purchase the full app code on my website nikander.com. You can also check out the live version of the app in the official Telegram channel, where I regularly share news and updates about the ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game code. Additionally, if you purchase the code, you will receive a referral link that allows you to earn profit by promoting the code to your friends. All the links are in the description. Let's continue with the topic of this video. I've set up a GitHub repository with two versions of the project. The first is called Initial Setup. It includes a basic Next.js 14 project with all the icons images and fonts needed to start building the Pose clone. The second is the final version, which contains the fully developed project. You can download the code and find detailed text instructions in my Telegram channel. Check out the link in the description. Open VS Code, open the terminal, clone the repository, navigate to the project directory, switch to the initial setup branch, install the dependencies. Now we have the basic initial project set up with the necessary fonts, icon components and images. At the moment you might see some import errors for the images, but these will be resolved on the first run. Go ahead and type npm run dev to start the project. As you can see, the issue is now resolved, and we are starting with a blank page. Create a new folder called context. Inside this, create a file tab context.tsx. Add use client at the top of the file to make this a client component, which allows the use of hooks like use state and use context. Define the tab context type to specify the structure of the context, including active tab for the current tab and set active tab as a function to update the active tab. Create tab context using create context, initializing it as undefined for now. The actual value will be set within the provider. Add the tab provider component, use use state to manage active tab with home as the default. Wrap children in tab context.provider and pass active tab and set active tab as values to make them accessible throughout the component tree. Create the use tab hook to allow easy access to tab context values in other components. Include an error check to ensure it's used only within tab provider. Open the page.tsx file. Wrap the main content in tab provider to give all child components access to the tab context. Inside main, set up the basic layout with a min H screen class for full screen height and style it with a black background and white text. Create a folder named components. Inside this folder add three basic components, check footprint, tab container and navigation bar. Place these components inside the main tag. Go to Check Footprint component. Center a full width container using flex Justify Center W full. Inside, add a fixed top section 
with a dark background, padding and a left border for emphasis. Place the text, check the footprint map and add a button with the arrow big right icon. Go to Navigation Bar component. Get Active tab and set Active tab from the Use tab hook to track and update the currently active tab. Define the tab's array with each tab's ID, label and icon component to enable dynamic rendering of navigation items. Create the navigation bar container with flex justify center W full. Inside add a fixed section at the bottom with a black background, top border and padding. Loop through tabs to render each tab as a button. Check if a tab is active using active tab and apply conditional styling to highlight the active tab with blue text. Finally, render each tab's icon and label. Our navigation bar looks great. We can click to select an item and see it highlighted as the active section. Go to globals.css file, add the following styling to hide the scroll bar across different browsers. This will give our app a cleaner and more polished look. Close the tabs and go to Tab Container Component. Inside the Components folder, create four basic components to represent our app tabs. Home tab, Leaderboard tab, Friends tab and Tasks tab. Go to Tab Container Component. Retrieve Active tab from Use tab to check which tab is currently selected. Set up a container with styling for layout, using Flex1 to allow the tab content to fill the available space and overflow hidden to hide any overflow. Inside, use conditional classes to display the selected tab content. Is show makes the active tab visible, while is hide hides the inactive ones. This approach switches between Home tab, Leaderboard tab, Friends tab and Tasks tab based on the active tab state. Open globals.css and add the styles for isHide and isShow. Now we can seamlessly switch between the tabs using the bottom navigation bar. It looks awesome. We can close globals.css and tab container and open the home tab component. Add a container including a smooth transition effect using transition all and duration 300 for animated changes. Add the connect wallet button within a full width div container centered with flex justify center. The button itself has a blue background, rounded corners and padding and includes the wallet icon and connect wallet text. Add the pose balance display section centered and showing the pose logo icon with a large both balance amount and the label pose in smaller text. Below include a clickable Newcomer rank page with the sparkles icon and an arrow indicating an interactive rank feature. Add two action buttons for joining the community and checking rewards. Each button has a subtle background, border styling and layout that neatly aligns text and icons. The first button includes the shine effect class adding a subtle animation to make it stand out slightly. Go to globals.css and add the shine effect style, which creates a subtle animated highlight. This effect uses a gradient overlay 
that moves across the element, giving it a soft shine. The animation runs every 7 seconds to add a dynamic touch without being too distracting. Open the leaderboard tab component. Define the leaderboard item type to structure each leaderboard entry with a wallet name, balance, place and an optional medal symbol for the top 3 spots. Create an array called leaderboard data to hold sample leaderboard entries. Each object in the array represents a user's wallet name, balance, position and, if applicable, a medal icon. Add the main container for the leaderboard and apply smooth transition effect using Transition All and Duration 300. Inside, add padding with PX4 to space out content. Add the header section using Flexbox to center the elements. Place the trophy image, a leaderboard title and a row showing the total user count, styled with a dark background and white text for visibility. Below the header, add a section for the current user's stats. Style this container with a white background, rounded corners and padding. Inside, display the user's wallet icon, name, balance and rank aligning everything with Flexbox for a neat layout. Add the list of leaderboard entries by mapping over leaderboard data. For each item, display the wallet name, balance and place using conditional background colors and rounded corners to visually differentiate the top entries. Flexbox helps align each item's icon name, balance and place, creating a consistent layout across all entries. Our leaderboard tab is ready and it looks awesome. We can go ahead and move on to the Friends tab component. Add the main container. Add the header section. Use a large bold title, invite friends and structured text below. Add the empty state section to show when there are no invites. This section has a dark background, rounded corners and padding centering the content. Include an image with a message that encourages users to invite friends to earn rewards. Add a fixed position invite button at the bottom of the screen using a full width button inside a centered container. Style it with a blue background, rounded corners and padding to make it inviting and easy to tap. Friends tab component is ready, so we can move on to the final component tasks tab. Define the task type to structure each task item with properties for an icon, title, reward and an optional is component flag to distinguish between icon types. Set up a state variable active tab with default value in game and set active tab to handle switching between the in game and partners tabs. Create the tasks array with different task objects, each containing an icon, title and reward. Create the partner tasks array to store tasks associated with partner channels. Add the main container. Add the header section with a title tasks and a subtitle prompting users to earn rewards by completing quests. Create a tab switcher with two buttons for switching between in-game and partners. Style the active tab with a white background and black text 
to clearly indicate the selected tab. Finally, add the task list displaying tasks based on the active tab selection. For each task, add an icon, title and reward text. Style the task entries with padding and conditional borders for a clean layout. Include a start button for each task styled with rounded corners and a bold look. The Tasks tab looks beautiful, we can easily switch between different task types and see the list of tasks. Our app is complete and it works perfectly. You can see it looks as amazing as the original Pose app. It's incredibly flexible. The layout adapts beautifully across all screen sizes, from the smallest to the largest, even on those unusual, less common screen dimensions. No matter the device, it maintains a clean and polished look that makes the app visually appealing everywhere. I deployed this app as a Telegram mini app and it looks awesome. It looks like the original pause game. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.